Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer and I just played through Gone Home. It's a first-person narrative exploration game developed by Fulbright. Gone Home was released for Linux August 15th, 2013. It was featured in the Humble Indie Bundle 12 and was added to the 15th Indie Bundle in its second week. This game is from my personal collection. I believe Gone Home is an achievement in time and place. The atmosphere, a mansion known to the locals as haunted. The house itself, sparse, the lighting insufficient and unreliable. And the weather, a temperamental rainstorm with impeccable timing. While the game's controls and graphical prowess have that distinct and unfortunate unity feel, the title overcomes its engine's limitations. I truly felt immersed in the mystery of the abandoned home. The game's soundtrack is powerfully evoking, punctuated by Riot Girl punk rock from the mid-90s, which is when the game is set. I have to express my appreciation for the game's use of misdirection, and the subtle provocation of unease that kept me on edge the whole time. The solitude, the weather, and the faulty electrical really enhance the story that's being told. Gone Home paints a picture with voice acting. Sarah Grayson plays your little sister Sam, who was perfectly cast and delivers a pitch-perfect portrayal of the character. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. While playing Gone Home, there are few mechanics to wrap your head around. Some critics and self-indignant gamers lampoon this title as a, quote, walking simulator. But to deride it as such is, I believe, a grave mistake. While what you do in this game is walk around, explore a house, and trigger audio diaries, the minimalism, the focus on narrative, and the sense that you, the player, are part of the discovery is what this game is all about. Interaction with the game comes in the form of examining objects in the house, searching for a key or a combination, something that will move the story forward. But there's something here you don't find in many other exploration games. As I've said, there's a deep sense of mystery, and the story, well, we'll get to that. Gone Home controls like other Unity Engine games, and for me, it's probably the weakest part of the experience. I feel like the character movement is too slow. This may be a contributing factor in why I feel vulnerable in the game, and that may in fact be the developer's intent, but I still wish I moved a bit faster. Otherwise, besides picking up objects, crouching, moving, and looking around, there's not much else we need to do, and the controls suffice. My copy of Gone Home came with the soundtrack, which is outstanding. Otherwise, there's no DLC. However, there is developer commentary tracks available in the base game. This is always a welcome feature and adds significant amounts of replayability, for me at least. And finally, let's talk about the story. Gone Home is a game about exploration and unraveling the mystery of the narrative. Consequently, if the story wasn't good, the game would fall flat on its face. I mean, there'd be nothing to talk about and no reason to keep playing if the story wasn't compelling. Fortunately, at least for me, the simple, captivating intrigue of the narrative was worth every second. I'm going to lightly tread into spoiler territory here, so you can click this annotation to skip to the final score. We are Caitlin Greenbrier, returning home from a year-long tour of Europe. While we were away, our parents moved into a new house they inherited from our paternal great-uncle. Things have changed for our family. When we get home, the front door is locked, and we quickly realize nobody's inside. We learn through narration, reading notes and letters, and through careful observation why nobody's home. Sam has started attending a new school, and many of the kids treat her with suspicion. She reveals she lives in her great uncle's mansion, which is notoriously referred to as the Psycho House, and her schoolmates believe it to be haunted. Sam meets a girl named Yolanda, or Lonnie for short. Lonnie is enamored with Riot Girl music and the occult. We discover that our sister Sam and her friend Lonnie have fallen in love. Throughout the game, we hear Sam tell her side of the relationship, their secret relationship, the hardships they've endured, the separation due to Lonnie's involvement in the military, and our parents' homophobia. The story is richly textured with a live-in feeling that lends it a certain authenticity. Sam's struggle, dealing with parents, and a society that doesn't understand her affection for Lonnie borrow from real-life stories of so many young LGBT folks. Again, I feel the need to mention Sarah Grayson's masterful performance as Sam, who, at least twice, brought me to tears with her genuine interpretation of the character. Gone Home has a phenomenal story, told in a groundbreaking, interactive way. 
The story, while short, is one of the best I've experienced in gaming. If you have not had a chance to play Gone Home, you simply must. It's available for Linux through the Humble Store, GOG, and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Gone Home? What do you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous Towerfall unboxing or my City Skylines review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching. Have you played Gone Home? Oh, you bastard.